All right. Three, Three two, two, one, go. After finishing on the 12th place in both the 2014 and the 2015 World Championship, Jeff Moore had a magical run during CTWC 2016. He defeated the 2014 world champion Harry Hong in the semi-finals and went on to the finals to face the then five-time world champion Jonas Neubauer. Definitely was not disappointed to lose because um, it might have been, I think, that's where it started to, to kind of dawn on me that wow, this is this is it, right? Like yeah. it was starting to be, it was starting to get overwhelming at that point. He had an early top out in game one. Jeff's lead has whittled down to thirty thousand points. A couple Tetrises, and that's all that. Oh, Joe, that, that's the end of Jonas. Oh. He's not going to be able to get another bar in there. And Jeff takes our first round. And then I did the same thing. I, I had that um, um, kind of transition right to transition top out in the next two games. Jonas is a little bit behind, uh, but his playfield's in much better shape. Much cleaner playfield. I think it's going to be what's detrimental yeah. to Jeff. Yeah. I saw Jeff gulp there. I, I don't think he's going to. No. Doesn't feel confident about it. That's a tough spot. I don't think he's going to get out. And Jonas takes that Jonas round. Jonas takes that round. Now 1-1. One, one. Wrong Jeff time not the long eight, bar. Yeah, long I mean, the long bar. bars are coming, but he was not able to use it. Oh, that was... <sighs> Critical. Bad piece placement. Yeah, that they'll they'll be in the Jeff. It's unfortunate. And Jonas's lead at the end <laughs> oh, widened my to 100,000 points. It wasn't so much that I lost. Um, I wish I had been able to give it a little more of a challenge. I guess, right? You guys out there excited? Everybody, cheer them on! Let's go! Right. <laughs> I liked the way actually the match ended in in game four. Um, it went to, you know, kind of the limit there, right? I feel like I, I was able to redeem those those middle two games um, by at least having um, an exciting finish, right? And, and sort of being there and having a chance to push it to that fifth game. So all in all, yeah, there wasn't any disappointment in losing it. I felt like I gave it a pretty good um, competitive effort. To me, that's really what, what feels good. It's not necessarily whether whether you win or lose, but it's it's, if you lose, it's how did you lose? Did you completely blow it? Or were you at least able to, you know, give give the guy a, a good run for the money? That that's what I felt like was it was um, a good a real a good effort and definitely, you know, not not disappointed uh, in, in how it all ended up. It comes down to a mistake or being able to maximize. Jeff is not in a position for a Tetris, he can make no. a triple. Oh, he burns a triple from the top. Oh. That's not the best placement. Oh, that's the end of the year. Okay, Jeff just needs to make a couple of, a few good placements and maybe a triple will, will get him to survive, oh, but no, no it's so not gonna happen, guys. Oh. That was amazing. My goodness. And your winner of the 2016 <laughs> Classic Tetris World Championships, now six time world champion, Jonas Neubauer. Oh.